Hi everyone, my name is Bo Cook and I'm a practising garden designer based down in Lewis and Sussex and I'm also a Vectorworks trainer. I want to welcome you to my series of little bite-sized Vectorworks tutorials which are based on three different headings. First of all we're going to look at some of the um, misunderstood and underused tools. Then we're going to look at studio style and then our final in the series is to make your workflow more efficient. Um, so let's get started. First of all we are going to look at the clip tool. Now the clip tool lives over in the basic tool palette and there are two things that you've got to think about before you start using this. First of all, as with all tools, which mode are you going to be working in? And there are two different sets of modes that I'll run through in a moment. And then the second thing that you have to think about are which objects are you wanting to apply this to? Now, there are, um, the one thing with this tool is that you have to select the objects that you're wanting to edit and anything that is not selected won't be edited at all. So this is really handy if you work with multiple layered objects within one design layer, or if like me, you work often in show, snap, modify others, which I don't recommend you do if you're fairly new to Vectorworks. Um, otherwise, you're just not really working in a safe environment and you're more likely to protect your, your drawing if you work in show, snap, others. So let's get started. I've selected the shape at the bottom and I've selected the shape at the top and I have not selected the one in the middle just because I want you to be able to see what happens. So the first thing we're going to look at is the exclusion mode. That is going to uh, delete the shape that you draw. The second mode is going to keep the shape that you draw. And the third mode essentially dissects it. So it keeps the shape that you have drawn and the one that you haven't, but it's, it has split them. And then the second set of modes that you have to think about are how you're going to be drawing the, the shape. Are you drawing a rectangle? Are you going to be drawing a polygon or are you going to be drawing a circle? Now there isn't a polyline in this scenario, so there are some already some limitations with this. But on a basic level, this is a really quick and simple tool to use in, on some specific applications. So let's get drawing. I'm going to start showing you the exclusion mode and I'm just going to draw a rectangle over the objects. And you can see there the middle one is untouched and the outer two have had some of their objects, uh, some part of their objects uh, deleted. I'm just going to press Command Z to undo. The inclusion mode is going to keep the shape that I've drawn and it's deleted to the remnants. And then the uh, split mode is going to split the objects essentially and everything is kept and you can reuse those to something else. Now, I just want to show you very quickly, it's the, one of the limitations I find with it is that it's a bit, you, you, because you can't see exactly what it is that you're drawing, um, you, you can't and you don't have any uh, shape to guide you, it, it can just be a little bit difficult. So sometimes it's better to use clip surface in that instance, but I just want to show you very quickly. Uh, let's just look at this. So I've got a tree and let's just quickly draw a tree put over the top, uh, underneath, sorry. So I've snapped in the middle of the tree and I'm just going to tab out and I have actually just <laughs> used the wrong tool, wrong, the wrong mode. So let me just delete that. So if I pull that out, you can see I've deleted a tree circle underneath that tree for planting. That's just a very crude example. But if we just move over here, I just want to show you one of the times that I do use it. Uh, so this is a deck and I've just drawn lines over my deck just to show where the deck boards are. And say for example in this situation we've got a nine meter deck but we want to reduce it to seven and a half. We now have a lot of these lines overlapping. Now there are other tools that we can use. We could use the trim tool and we can also group it and then reshape the group to make it smaller. That's fine. Um, but equally, we can grab the exclusion mode, grab the rectangle, draw over the top, and they've gone. Now, okay, so that one, in that instance, there were various different ways of, uh, of doing the same thing. And, and in Vexworks, there are always multiple different ways of achieving the same output. But I just want to show you it in this instance. So say we have a deck and we had um, horizontal boards and then we decide to change them to uh, let's say 45 degree angle 
Okay, let me just uh, mirror them just so that we've got the whole of the deck covered. Then I'm going to show you how to use it very quickly we're using the inclusion mode. So we're going to keep the shape that I draw. I'm just going to draw the rectangle and I'm going to snap to the deck underneath. It's deleted everything else and there we go. Okay, so I hope that was useful and um, stay tuned for my next in the series, which will be a surprise. I haven't quite worked out which one I'm going to teach you yet, but um, uh, yeah, I'll see you then. Okay, thanks very much. Bye.